so today we're gonna be reacting to some you know some twitter lawyer i just i just came across and um i think a very funny thing a very funny trend people faking like vaccine symptoms you know to be honest at this point if you don't take the vaccine it's like you know in my opinion it's like it's you see a choice who cares but like trying to spread like vaccine propaganda and like doing the most i feel like it's so it's so like weird but it's so funny because the acting is horrible <laughs> the acting is usually horrible and today we have a new case of someone faking vaccine symptoms um and it, it, that's what i'm here to show you guys that's what i'm here to show you guys so we have this lady all right guys so this is where we're at let me raise my legs Can you see that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, now tell at. me. Tell me. How it's so, it's this big. Oh Yet the phone oh, is so is stable. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> So it's a <laughs> so it's a typical case of you know people in her replies you know was going at her <laughs> and um <laughs> people you know making their own jokes about it and apparently you know it's a common thing that people uh, lie about symptoms to get uh to get donations to people that believe Christian it Christian friends spread misinformation about the covid vaccine while making fifty thousand dollars in the process but i was met with a fair bit of criticism like this you've proven nothing here you weren't a journalist did you reach out to her to personally investigate and while i do admit that i'm not a journalist i do have eyeballs and i can see that gofundme was forced to refund all of her donations because she couldn't prove that any of it was real. Hmm. That's weird. Bro, it's crazy. Yeah, like this girl. So you're telling me I, I start posting videos of me like shaking a little bit, and I can I can raise ten thousand dollars for myself. The fundraiser is no longer accepting donations. Okay. Part two, tremors from my stomach to my legs now. Okay. Double down. Down to my legs. Bro, wait. Down to my legs. Everywhere. From my stomach. All right, keep in mind, her legs, you can tell from her thighs, is barely moving. And then she gets to her legs. Now, all of a sudden, her knees buck. <laughs> knees and legs is fully buckling I, I feel like it's interesting because your own people that like you're trying to appeal to you're taking advantage of trying to spend misinformation and it, it's just so it's just it's nuts to me it's nuts to me so people <laughs> people say oh your legs look pretty normal and showing her like catching flights, you know. People are calling her an alcoholic. People saying GoFundMe money drying up. But it, it, it's funny because everyone clearly sees uh sees the acting that's going on. And I, I just feel like it's very it's that's a very wrong thing to do to the people, the anti vaxxers you're trying to like, you know, appeal to. Six, seven months post dirty Pfizer. When does the shaking stop? Bro, why is her other leg not shaking? Until she lift up for an example. It's just like. Yeah, see? This one's pretty bad. I gotta hold my kitchen still. Honestly, you know, it's just, I'm kind of jealous, bro. It's kind of jealous. Because. 
I wish I thought of the hustles before. Like, for example, that one girl that basically faked being a Trump supporter and the gang like jumped or whatever, and then uh got all those donations and GoFundMe, or the kid fake being bullied and getting all those donations and GoFundMe. I feel like the GoFundMe hustle is like it's crazy. That method is like it's OP. It just continuously works. It continuously works. I think that's the problem, bro. Uh, maybe I'm just not a bag chaser, you know? I'm just not a bag chaser, clearly. Honestly, I thought that was just funny. I wanted to share with you guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are great. We almost had a thousand subs, so sub hit that fucking sub button. I appreciate you guys.